Hey adventurers, welcome back to the continuation of the previous video and as I told you guys we were making our way to Vegas and if you guys haven't watched the first video uh, of this trip I'll leave a link below and you can also click right up here where it shows you on the suggestion. Anyways, the first thing we did when we got to Vegas was get into the hotel because everyone was dead tired after an 8 hour drive there. Anyways, we stood at the Venetian Hotel which was a resort and we will be making a short video on this hotel so I'll I will only show you guys a little bit of the hotel on this video. So we stood in a premium two queen suit. Uh, we paid only $158 per night. Uh, you might think probably it's a lot, but come on guys, look at this hotel. It's a luxury hotel. For $158, staying in a hotel like this in Vegas, it was worth it. Of course, we went to watch the Bellagio Water Show. It's a free show that they have it every 30 minutes, I believe. And all you have to do is just step back, find a comfortable perch to sit, and watch the dynamic performance set against the backdrop of the Las Vegas Lavender Sky. Each performance is unique in expression and interpretation so no matter how many times you have seen the fountains they always have more in store to wow you with I'm gonna leave you guys with some images and I'll be back shortly After the water show, we got into a limo, all the family, everyone, and we went to Fremont Street, which is also known as Old Vegas. People also call it Old Vegas. It's an amazing street, it's very colorful, it's very bright, lots of lights, lots of weird people too, like you guys see. And they have a lot of showmans, they have a lot of casinos, a lot of gift shops. People everywhere doing something funny, people everywhere entertaining, they have lots of women that just go around so you can take pictures with them, you know, just for you to go to a friend and show a picture and say, hey, I've been to Vegas and look at all these girls. <laughs> Anyways, it's amazing, the ceiling, it's all lit up, it's like a panel, there are a bunch of panels, a bunch of light LED panels, it's amazing, and they also have these shows that happen in the middle of the street, just like those guys, they're a rock band, he was very good they played a good tune everyone was having a lot of fun just like those guys you can see dancing around and jumping around guys we still inside of the hotel the Venetian it's like a village like a kind of Italian village we have the gondola here so like you guys see the video so already walk around it's very big and also they have outside outside look like we are outside anyway but this is inside in the second floor beautiful my family is there so we're gonna keep walk there's so much to show you guys you guys need to come over to this hotel and check it out because there's so much to show they have the casino downstairs the pool outside is beautiful the jacuzzi so so many things to do here the hotel is very big when you get here they give you a map because it's so big and it's a good price too guys believe it or not beautiful check it out well as my father told you this place is huge you need a map to get inside of it and get to know every place because there's so much to see there's so many stores so many entertaining things especially the gondola the guys in the canoes that ride you that takes you throughout the the canals and they also sing which is amazing it feels just like you're in Italy and of course it's supposed to look like Italy because because it's resembling an Italian place And also inside this same hotel, they have Carlos Bakery, which is which is a very famous place, and it's ran by Buddy Velastro. Uh, I'm sure some of you guys are familiar with him. They also had his restaurant right in front of it, and as you can see right there, that's the entrance of the hotel. And yeah. After that, we went to Treasure Islands, which was which is a hotel, but they have this this amazing entrance that you can take a lot of pictures there on the pirate ships, just like you guys can see. They have a little fountain. They have they have the wooden floors and astounding views. And 
and right next to it there is Madame Tussaud, Tussaud, I guess that's how you say it, Madame Tussaud, which is a wax museum. We only stood in the outside, we didn't go in, so we only saw Jamie Foxx and Vin Diesel, as you guys can see, they look pretty real. But anyways guys, our trip to Vegas was nothing too fancy. This video is just supposed to be a continuation of the previous video. So thank you guys so much for watching until here. And don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and leave a comment below. Thank you so much. I'll see you on the next adventure.